Let's talk about foods you need to focus on when it comes to weight loss. This is something I've learned recently and I just wanna share my knowledge with you guys. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dila Joy and I made this transformation on my weight loss journey. I've had many struggles. Usually my struggle is dealing with chronic pain. I went up to almost 300 pounds after giving birth to my son. I had an injury that caused me severe pain, severe back pain. I couldn't walk, I couldn't lie down, I couldn't sit without being in debilitating pain. Years later, it's come to known that I have a psoas injury and there was something going on with my pelvic floor. Then I lost about 70 pounds, made this transformation, and then QN two years ago, I got into a car accident had a neck bulge or a disc slip disc in my neck, could barely move my neck. Hence why I have not been able to do things I normally do, like get my hair braided and stuff like that. Couldn't do it. My neck seized up for two years. I had injury in my thoracic spine, so that's the upper mid back. Injury in my hips, lower spine, my shoulder, and my knee. So that drove me to OMAD because I was depressed. I couldn't work out and working out is a way that I deal with my anxiety. And that was taken away from me. I turned to binging. Wasn't till I used OMAD as a tool to help me stay disciplined, bring my insulin levels down, correct everything that my body went through with all of the horrible food choices I made due to stresses and I made this transformation. Right now, I'm still on a journey, still going in. I, I guess I can technically say I'm still rehabbing my body. There are things wrong with my hips and so forth, but I'm in good hands and I'm getting the help I need so I can get back to how I was and start my new journey with bodybuilding. It's been delayed, but it is what it is. You never give up, no matter what. No matter what obstacles in your path, you find a way to show up. So here's a quick little tidbit. You wanna lose weight, do these things. Number one, if you have access to a sauna, get a sauna. Sit in the sauna for about 20 to 30 minutes and then have a cold shower. Apparently that does stuff to your hormonal levels, your insulin levels. I believe that because I remember when I was wearing a continuous glucose monitor, I would sit in the sauna and my glucose levels would drop so low, which meant by default, my insulin levels were low. When it comes to fat loss, Insulin's not just a thing for diabetics, it's for everybody. When your insulin levels are low, you trigger lipolysis. When you trigger lipolysis, you break down the fat into its components. So it can be used as energy when we exercise or throughout the day. So there's that. Another thing you should do diet-wise, focus on this one meat. This one meat will help you lose weight. Or two, I would mention, eat beef, or bison. Beef and bison is great for a weight loss journey. It has a good amount of fat, depending on what the cuts you're eating, and it has all the vitamins and minerals compared to other meat. Another thing you wanna do with your carbohydrates is to eat between 50 grams to 70 grams of total carbs per day. That's gonna also help with weight loss. Now, people will disagree, that's fine. I do believe in the theory of bringing your carbs low. Um, I just look at bodybuilders and how they're the expert of cutting fat, um, even though they have high muscle mass, but you look at their physiques, you know a lot of them do cut their carbs low and they cycle through. And that's another thing, the power of cycling in and out of things. Anyway, this was a quick tidbit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and drop in the word muscle in the comments below. And thank you so much. Take care. Bye.